the Gold Rush number one contenders tournament continues in hardcore fashion because we're talking about Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. Now, it's well documented the history and uh, the violence between these two combatants, but never as Ambrose and Rollins uh, had so much on the line and so much at stake because whomever wins not only advances but gets one step closer to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now, this isn't about who's tougher. This isn't about who's grittier. This isn't about who can take the most pain and punishment because we've already seen that. This is about who is better. This is about who can get the job done in that ring, whether pinfall or submission. This is about who wants to be champion more. We already know the lengths and levels that Dean Ambrose can go to. But in this match, remember, there is disqualifications, there is countouts. So they're going to have to look out for that. And right now, let's get to the introductions of Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt, who have competed in boot camp matches, in ambulance matches, in table matches. Uh, we have seen these two combatants put each other through hell and back. But remember, this match is not hell and it's not about hell and back in this contest. It's about the WWE world title. It's about pride. It's about respect. It's about honor. It's about dignity. And Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt are going to have to dig deep in a match of this predicament. This is Sean Drew Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe where I will be providing, uh, you know, the full match commentary, the live commentary of all these matches as they take place here on WWE 2K15 on the PS4 as Dean Ambrose approaches the ring and he is about to meet his matchmaker in Bray Wyatt. Yeah, we have seen Bray Wyatt and Dean Ambrose do some incredible things. Things that you could not think any two men could do, but these two guys did it. They laid it all on the line, and tonight, you know, they're going to lay it all on the line to become the number one contender for Brock Lesnar's WWE World Championship match. And here comes the opposition. Here comes Bray Wyatt, a man that is nasty, a man that will not be afraid to tell you what he's going to do and how he's going to go about it. Bray Wyatt will put his body on the line. Uh, I just didn't, I don't want to interrupt Bray Wyatt there because you know he might uh, dish out some punishment on me. I've already, we, I mean we've seen these two put each other through extraordinary amounts of pain, but what's the threshold going to be? You know the the, uh, the award at, at the end of this match is absolutely uncanny because the award to be the number one contender. And, and an opportunity that doesn't come all the time. An opportunity that you have to take full advantage of. And Bray Wyatt realizes what's in front of him. Bray Wyatt knows that he's young. He's strong. He's agile. Bray Wyatt knows that although he's young, an opportunity like this, like many superstars realize, may not come down the pike all that much. And that's why Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt have shown you why they're the future. They have shown you why they are going to be the superstars that are going to dictate the momentum. They are going to set the pace for the next 5 to 10 years in the WWE. But this match is going to set the pace. To who will become number 1 contender. This is the Gold Rush Tournament. You know a lot of what you just said made sense. I mean Dean Ambrose and Bray Wyatt are the future of the WWE. They are going to uh, have to make their own legacies. And they're going to stand out. And they're, going to, and they're very different athletes. They're very different individuals from, you know, say a Roman Reigns or a Randy Orton or John Cena. Two guys that have definitely would have fit in the Attitude Era. And right now, Bray Wyatt taking over Dean Ambrose. But this is only the beginning stages. This match has just begun. And uh, we have seen, you know, <laughs> these two have thrown each other, thrown everything at each other but, but the kitchen sink. And right now, Dean Ambrose taking over Bray Wyatt in this contest. Dean, Dean Ambrose with the shop lefts and right hands. And now Ambrose gets, gets Bray Wyatt in the ropes and now just... Smacking him like a, you know what, I was I would say, the well, we're just going to say, smacking him around like a biatch. And now Bray Wyatt on the mat, Dean Ambrose, has to also contend with the Wyatt family at ringside. Now, I don't know, the Shield is not, not at ringside. We don't know the Shield aren't seeing, uh, you know, they ain't seeing their own ways these days. They're not on the same page. They're not reading out of the same book. But the Wyatt family, they seem like they, they just get back together whenever they see fit, whenever they think that, you know, it will add fuel to the fire. And this is definitely a match where you can add fuel to the fire, but... There's so much at stake. There's just so much on the line in this one match. To whomever wins will become the number one contender. And imagine Dean Ambrose versus Brock Lesnar. Imagine a match of that magnitude. Or imagine uh, what we could ex anticipate between Bray Wyatt and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, but this is just the first. This is just the first round. Once Ambrose or, or Bray Wyatt wins this match, they must have to go on to the next round. Whomever wins this is going to face Seth Rollins. And I'll tell you what, Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins would be a great match. We already know Dean Ambrose versus Seth Rollins. We know what those two are capable of. But remember, when you have uh, 
the fact that the number one contendership is at stake that's when it matters most that's when you know you go into overdrive that's when you show what you're really made of and dean ambrose right now is going to try to show bray wyatt what he's made of oh, i think bray wyatt is no stranger to dean ambrose these two guys are no stranger to each other you know their next best their next fight their best fight is their next one and that's exactly what we're witnessing here another fight between ambrose and wyatt the struggle is real between these two combatants as Bray Wyatt gets back up to his feet and Dean Ambrose now trying to figure out a way trying to maneuver his way around uh, Bray Wyatt which is not a, at all easy and now oh, a big back body drop down goes Dean Ambrose to the mat and Bray Wyatt seems like he's in full control but the tide of this match could turn very quickly and Bray Wyatt would love to be the WWE World Heavyweight Champion but Dean Ambrose the, cro the crazy lunatic fringe that he is. Can you imagine the things? Can you imagine the levels he would go to against Brock Lesnar? Can you imagine Dean Ambrose pulling out all the stops to make sure that he leaves the WWE World Champion? But re remember, I'm getting ahead of myself right now. These two still have to go through two other matches before their fate is sealed, before they get in the ring with the manster. I call him the manster, Brock Lesnar. A man that has no remorse. A man that has no mercy. A man that doesn't give a damn who you are or what you're up against he doesn't respect anybody Brock Lesnar just goes in goes in there and he hurts people and right now Dean Ambrose is getting the hurt put on him by Bray Wyatt as Bray Wyatt takes Ambrose up and oh my god just takes him over and flips him around like a rag doll obviously Bray Wyatt he has also no remorse Bray Wyatt will do whatever it takes to get the victory but Dean Ambrose will go to any level to maintain his position and his spot and that's what makes these two guys so dangerous. And I told you, the matches that these two guys had, it's no its no uh, secret that's been very violent. It's been very, very brutal. And you may want to put the kids to bed uh, when it's all said and done. you got to wonder, though, what match will happen? Whomever wins this match and whoever gets to face Brock Lesnar in the end. we got Orton in this. we got Ziggler in this. you got Rollins in this. Who... Do they really know what they're getting themselves into? Do they understand that they're facing Brock Lesnar? The reigning, defending WWE World Heavyweight Champion. A man that, make no mistakes about it, is one of the most legitimate competitors in the history of WWE. A man that will show up, he'll kick your ass, he'll leave, and, and that's what he'll do. Brock Lesnar isn't about finesse. Brock Lesnar isn't about going out there and putting on a five-star match. Brock Lesnar will suplex you after suplex after suplex. And can you imagine Dean Ambrose being on the receiving end of those suplexes? Or, 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 or imagine Bray Wyatt being on the receiving end of an F5. How would he uh, bounce back? How would he be able to retaliate after something quite like that? And as these two are going tooth and nail, go, giving it everything that they have, every superstar on this is showing why they deserve to be in this spot, why they deserve to be in this tournament. And oh, a spine buster. Dean Ambrose hits a great spine buster on Bray Wyatt. And now Ambrose focusing on the leg, focusing on any limb, anything he can get a hold of on Bray Wyatt. Uh-oh, I told you it wasn't going to take long for this. Now, Dean Ambrose has the victory. Dean Ambrose has the victory. My God, Wyatt's tapping out. This match should be over. Dean Ambrose should be advancing already. This is not fair. This is not right. Come on, ref. Maintain control of this damn match. Ambrose has got the victory. Wyatt's been tapping out. He's been tapping out all night long. And now Dean Ambrose should have won this match. But Ambrose going into the cover. A submission, a cover, and the referee nowhere near to be found. The referee being distracted. This is absolutely outrageous. Dean Ambrose could have had this match in the win already. But Bray Wyatt's got a, an opportunity here. Bray Wyatt's got a second chance. And it's not many times you'll get a second chance in a, in a tournament-style match. And now Bray Wyatt realizes what's on the line. The Wyatt family wants to see Dean Ambrose... Uh, destroyed. The Wyatt family wants to see Dean Ambrose uh, exited out of uh, his uh, his his just cancel his old his, his old career. Just put him on the uh, unemployment line. Why don't you? While you're at it, just try to end the man's career for God's sakes. This match should have been over a long time ago, but Ambrose is still in it. Well, Dean Ambrose is willing and able to do whatever it takes to put his body on the line. As is Bray Wyatt. That's the thing about these two guys. They don't care what they got to do. They don't care what they got to sacrifice. It's all about the WWE World Championship. Both men feel like they are in the driver's seat. And now Ambrose into the ring. Wyatt follows suit. Bray Wyatt back into the ring all over Dean Ambrose now. It doesn't look good if you're a Dean Ambrose fan. And remember, like this video and subscribe for this series to continue. It's all up to you. And oh, Ambrose comes out. And Ambrose, oh, it fires back. Dean Ambrose fires back with a big move. And now Ambrose looks like he may be seeing that, that tank be a little bit more fuller than an empty. And wait a minute. Dirty Deeds. Dean Ambrose. Dirty Deeds. The Dirty Deeds. Ambrose into the cover. One, two, three. But the damn Wyatt family. The Wyatt family has intervened again. The Wyatt family getting sticking their nose in Ambrose's business. 
Well, they're there to help out Bray Wyatt. They're there to see the best of, of Bray Wyatt. They have a vested interest in this match. That's the second time that Dean Ambrose has been screwed in this match. Dean Ambrose has had this match won on more than one occasion. One, two, and again, the Wyatt family getting involved. The Wyatt family again on the apron. This is getting to be a little bit much now. Ambrose is going to do something. The referee is going to maintain order here. Bray Wyatt's getting another opportunity to shine. Bray Wyatt once again opening up that window. And oh, what a shot to Wyatt. Wyatt what a shot to Dean Ambrose. And no, 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 no. Don't drop him. No, right. And oh, the thud. Oh, my God. The thud of Ambrose's body hitting the mat. You heard it. It was like a basketball bouncing off the court. Oh, one, two. This is it. Oh, Ambrose still in the fight. How the hell is Dean Ambrose still fighting? How is Ambrose still in this? I don't know. Uh, he's going to places he's never had to go to before. And now what's the Ambrose going to do here? What's, he, what's the Wyatt going to do? What is the next move they're thinking? What's on their mind? What is going to be dictated? Oh, Wyatt with a vicious suplex to Dean Ambrose. Remember, one of these men will advance in the Gold Rush Tournament to determine a number one contender, the Brock Lesnar's WWE World Championship. Who wants it more? Who is more resilient? And Dean Ambrose now looking for it, but no, Wyatt reverses it. And oh, no. Down goes Ambrose again. And Wyatt in control. Only after the Wyatt family got involved in this match on more than one occasion. Dean Ambrose had this one. Dean Ambrose should be in the showers. Dean Ambrose should be celebrating the win already. But damn it, this is ridiculous. This is... This kind of thing should not be transpiring right now. Now, just just calm down, you know. Just realize that what's on the line here, you know, the opportunity. The chance. It's all about chances. And Dean Ambrose is going to take a chance now. Dean Ambrose is going to take a leap of faith. I don't know if it's going to be a leap of faith or a leap of danger because these two guys throw danger. They throw caution at the wind at every single turn. Does Ambrose and and Wyatt. Uh-oh. What's Wyatt going to do here with and Just drops down. What? Oh, my. A stomach crusher. Oh, man. And that isn't going to do Dean Ambrose any favors to, do, to uh, become the number one contender to Brock Lesnar's championship. And now Bray Wyatt working over Ambrose at every section, at every part. One, two, no. It seems like Ambrose is still very much into this despite the distractions, despite the Wyatt family, despite the three-on-one assaults. And now what's Wyatt going to do with Ambrose here? What else can he do? It? Oh, what a vicious, violent clothesline. And he almost took Ambrose's head off. That's going to do it. One, Bray, Bray Wyatt's going to advance. No, he's not. Bray Wyatt almost had Ambrose pinned on that feet right there. That was almost it. Wyatt smells victory. Wyatt sees blood. Uh-oh. But wait a minute. Wyatt once again on top of Ambrose, controlling Ambrose right here. Well, Bray Wyatt can thank the Wyatt family that he's still in this match because this match should have been over 5 or 10 minutes ago. But Bray Wyatt is still in this thing. Bray Wyatt is still looking to become the number one contender. Yes, but Dean Ambrose, that fire is lit. The fire is lit. And here comes Ambrose. Here comes the lunatic fringe. Dean Ambrose showing why he's a big matchmaker. Oh, oh there we go. Dean Ambrose, here we go. Ambrose going into cover. Can it, it One. No. Oh, boy, just a one count. What is Dean Ambrose got up his sleeve? Even though he ain't got no sleeves, but... Dean Ambrose has got to come up with something here. He's, he's very unpredictable. He's very satanic. He's Who knows what the hell Dean Ambrose is thinking. I don't even know if this guy even thinks. I don't think he thinks. He just goes in there and he does what comes, comes natural to him. And sometimes what comes natural to him can be very brutal. And right now this is a brutal match. Remember, this is the Gold Rush Tournament. Who will advance? Wait a minute. Dirty Deeds. Can he do it? Yes. Ambrose finally did it. Ambrose did it when it mattered most. The lights are on bright. Can Ambrose get the cover? Or is Wyatt going to overcome? No, Wyatt can't overcome. Dean Ambrose has advanced into the tournament. Dean Ambrose will face Seth Rollins. Oh, my God. What a match we have just witnessed. You want to talk about two combatants who gave you every single thing that they had. And although Bray Wyatt had to result to uh, to cheating, you got to give it to Bray Wyatt for hanging in there. But you got to give it for give it up for Dean Ambrose for uh, being able to capitalize and uh, you know take advantage of the moment. And the move, Dean Ambrose, ladies and gentlemen, has advanced. What a match we have just witnessed between two superstars who are definitely the future of this company. And you're going to see a future matchup, a, perhaps a, a potential future WrestleMania main event. You got Rollins, you got Ziggler, you got Orton. You got the potential to for one of the greatest tournaments ever. Remember to like this video and subscribe for this Gold Rush tournament to continue. Who's going to face Brock Lesnar? We're one step closer. Subscribe.